Hey guys, yours truly, Kevin Grace. I am here at Art Buda Cemetery here in Baltimore County. And I wanted to pay my respects to the first black female police officer, that woman, Violet Hill White. I had no idea that she was buried out here as many times as I come to this cemetery, but she has an amazing story. Her nickname is Lady Law. She was um, a mother, a wife, and she was a teacher all before she became a police officer. Now, the precinct where she served was Pennsylvania Avenue and Dolphin Street. Now, she was not issued a gun. Now, she was appointed a policewoman back in 1937. And uh, just amazing story now. Her duties were uh, sexual abuse cases, narcotic cases, uh, burglaries, and um, if she ever saw kids skipping school, she would intervene and make sure that they were in school. So basically, she was a truancy officer as well. She did a lot of things uh, besides just being a, a cop in the field i know that at one time she would have a, a christmas celebration for like four thousand kids at the royal theater um she would get clothes for um prisoners and in, in jail she would do a lot of different charity work so she was really top-notch woman now she graduated from douglas high school and she attended cop and state uh college as well but she served um for until 1967 now in 1955 she was promoted to sergeant and she was in charge of the police women and right before she retired in 1967 she was promoted to the rank of lieutenant so she wound up passing away uh in 19 80 at age 89 she passed away from a stroke now after she got out of the police force she um worked for planned parenthood as a uh as a field um uh officer as well so very interesting woman and i will put some video at the end of this video to tell you more about her now if you do come visit her she's right across from the great jazz drummer um Sp uh, spud uh web uh he's right over there and the office is right up here so it's on this incline so look for this big tree right here and she's right on this side so look for for her there's a couple of family members with the same last name now she's got a different spelling of white and the person next to her has the regular spelling of white so uh but just a very interesting woman and uh i definitely want to pay my respects to her now other uh famous and notable people buried here as i told you um spud webb he's drummer he's buried here uh, if you're from Baltimore and you remember the television newscaster Al Sanders, he's buried here. Uh, Negro League baseball player um, Leon Day, he's buried here. And my mother is buried here. So uh, just to name a few. And also a gentleman named George uh, McMakin, he's uh, buried here. He was a, a lawyer that was very instrumental of doing some civil rights work here in uh in baltimore so he's buried here as well but i definitely wanted to pay my respects to violet hill white and she's buried next to her, her husband who died in 1961 george if you like this video please subscribe down below and feel free to leave any comments about lady law violet hill white They refer to her as Lady Law. She was like a one-woman wrecking crew. Major she Cherie would, um, Briscoe is talking and, about and, Lieutenant and, Violet Hill White, Baltimore City's first black police officer.
issued a skirt and a badge, uh, not even a gun in that age. Because of the work that she did and the legacy that she left, I'm able all these many years later to be here uh, as, a, as a member of the agency. Commissioner William Lawson appointed White in December 1937. Assigned to the Northwest District at Pennsylvania Avenue and Dolphin Street, Lieutenant White became a fixture on the streets she patrolled. Festina Hardin says it's because of White that she changed her ways and stopped skipping school. When I was cooking school and we were trying to run away from her, she said, don't you run, I see you. Come on back here right now, young lady. William Hayes says she kept him straight, too. Sometimes we'd run over to Pennsylvania Avenue. She'd catch us in the carry or the Fulton movie when we shouldn't be. And we get the same thing. One more time, you guys go into Shelkham, or I'm going to tell your parents. Lieutenant White was known for working with children and families, passing out gift baskets during the holidays and tough police work. She would um, blend in and, and, and try to tear apart uh, gangs and drug crews and organizations. In 1955, the department promoted her and put her in charge of the police women. She then transferred to the new Western District that Major Briscoe now commands. You carry a little bit of her with you in your pocket? I, I carry a whole lot of her in my pocket. Major Briscoe says she can envision Lieutenant White as she walks her district talking to people and says the work hasn't changed that much. You fast forward to 2017 and some of the very challenges she was working to address all that many years ago, we're still working to address them. So if she had to be resilient, committed and compassionate and um, stand firm on her beliefs to do her job, I have to do the same so many years later. Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.